I haven't done a video, uh, or rather, I haven't done a tour for a while of the boat, so I'm going to show y'all what's been going on. So, over here, I have a bag of, I think there's two or three tents in this green bag, and then this black bag over here, I believe, is a sail, but I haven't taken that out yet, so I'm not sure. Uh, right here, I have a little plastic door thing that goes in this part. Just makes it to where it lets some air in on a hot day. I got some extra cans of chicken and tuna there. This thing has four propane um, things for a propane heater. Uh, this has nothing in it. Oh, no, yeah, wait, this does. This has glues, and it's supposed to have varnish, and, like, WD-40, Rain-X, a few things like that. <clears throat> Over here, I'm hoping, that's about seven feet back, maybe nine feet back there it's pretty far back it doesn't look very far on here but it is um i'm hoping to turn that into a bed area for myself seeing how the bee birth is not big enough for a six foot four guy put up some hooks to hang some things up same on this side i have some kitchen stuff going on now 24 foot boat so it's pretty small bathroom supplies v-birth v-birth going across this way is probably about six foot five and i'm six foot four so it's like almost an inch bigger than than me but going from here to the back tip of it it's only like uh, it's probably six foot five too, but because there's an edge right here, it doesn't feel that way. It feels like I'm gonna fall off every time. And then I have laundry going on and a bunch more tools. I've been putting all my tools up here, so I got a good collection of tools going on. And then that's pretty much it for in here. Um, I got down in here and looked at the batteries and they're from 2004 so i need some new batteries but other than that i was trying to look at this the other day and i couldn't figure nothing out about it i'm assuming it is a gas one but i can't figure out where to put the gas in so maybe it's propane and i'm just an idiot i don't know in any event, that's pretty much all I got to show because it's a really small boat. But things are going well, and um, I found out I have right up there. I found out I have a battery charger, and then I think those two cords are also battery chargers. But I don't know how all that works yet. I'm still trying to figure that out. Anyways, the big news is that I have, I'm probably going to have two beds set up. A long one for me, and a short one in the V-Birth for a guest. And I'll probably do the horizontal direction for the V-Birth, instead of the forward to backwards. Because if I do the horizontal one, the side to side then I can set it up to where there's a bed there, and on the other side of the bed, there's a bunch of storage area for, like, luggage bags and stuff. And it's the same with this hole down over here, down there. Um, I'm pretty sure it's long enough to where, I don't know, it might be kind of hard to get it back, or get back in there and come back out, but at least to put your bag down at the back of it, that you're not going to be using all the time. If not, then I'll be putting some of my, like, green bag over here, or the black bag up there, 
um, all the way in the back. That way it's just stuff I'm not getting to all the time. I don't know. Anyways, I just figured I'd give you all a tour. It's coming along. It's starting to look pretty nice. Like, it almost looks like a house in here. Oh yeah, I also think this spigot right here works. This one right here does not. Not that I can tell at least. If it does, I'm hoping this one's for salt water and this one's for fresh water, but I think this one goes to a fresh water tank uh, to be continued on if I'm covered or not. Alright, well, that's all I got. See ya.